So in this video, we're going to learn about the um, standard form of an uh, equation for a circle. So the standard form of an equation for a circle with a center HK, and all of these um, conic sections, that's what we call them, circles, ellipses, hyperbolas, even parabolas, they all have a center or a vertex of HK. So parabolas have a vertex, the rest of them usually have centers, um, and the um, radius is going to be referred to as R. Remember, a radius is the, the point that goes from the center of the circle to the side, okay? So that's the radius of a circle. So the standard form is just x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. So if they give us the center of the circle and they give us the radius, we can very quickly write this into an equation because I have h, k, and I have r. So I just have to plug these in. So x minus h, which is 3 um, squared, plus y minus k, um, squared equals r squared, so 5 squared. Um, I do need to clean this up a little bit because plus minus, I'll have to change, or sorry, ne minus negative, I'll have to change it to a plus. And then they do actually want me to work out what 5 squared is. So you can see this stayed the same, but I changed that to a plus sign, and then instead of 5 squared, I put 25, okay, because they want you to simplify it a little bit. But that's as far as they want you to go on it. So pretty simple. If they give you the center and they give you the radius, um, if they gave you the diameter, you would just divide by 2. Um, but so far, um, all the ones I've seen, they give you a center and a radius. All right, so if they want you to graph the circle, um, they're going to give you the equation. And so far, I've seen them give it to you in standard form. I haven't seen them be tricky about this one at all. So you're going to identify the center and the radius. They do ask you to identify that separately and then graph the circle. So if I have my standard equation here, I have x minus h and y minus k. So this, here's my h, here's my k, and then the end is squared. Um, so I have one, and remember it's x minus that number. So since the minus is still there, it's a positive one. And since the minus is still there, it's a positive four. If I saw a plus sign, that would be like this last one where I had to change it to a plus here, right? So because it was a negative. So just be careful about that. Um, and then, because this is r squared, I take the square root, and my radius is 5. So now I go center 1, 4. And then the radius, I can measure out in any direction 5 units. So you can see I did it in all four directions. You really only need to do one. For Alex, it's going to automatically, um, if you put a point here, you're going to click on the circle, and it's going to click on the center, and then you click on the radius, and it's going to automatically snap a circle for you. It's a pretty neat little program. Um, again, you just... Pick the center, pick the radius length, and then it will snap a circle nicely for you. Uh, so that is the standard um, equation for a circle and how to graph a circle using the standard equation. I hope that helped, and I'll see you in the next video.